I'm Nadine, the founder of Throttle, and I'm here with John, the builder of this amazing 356. And we do have the Fun Haver crew that they are doing donuts and everything over right behind us, so that's the noise. But John, can you tell me a little bit about how you got started with this? What was the inspiration behind this car? I wanted to make one with a hard top. I've had a bunch of these. This is the first one with this glass part top. Right. Um, and I really like this color combo. We've used it a couple of times on our Gullwing cars. So I figured let's try it on the, on the Speedster. And I think it turned out pretty good. Is it sponsored by Hermes? Or you no. just went and you, oh, okay. We, we, we just did it because just like a theme, every car has a theme, like the Tiffany cars you saw earlier. We never went this far as far as putting logos on, but I think it gave it that extra like it's a question for everybody like you, you know, you didn't know, so. Absolutely. So you said that one of the unique features is the top. Yes. How hard was that to do? Because that's not easy to put together. Well, back in back in the 50s, from what I understand, this was a aftermarket option, like a dealer option. So to find one today is very difficult. Um, we found a real one and we, uh, our friend Greg from Vintage Motor Cars recreated the whole top. Uh, the original top has a really big window in the back and we're very well known for uh, doing these gangster windows. So to put that in there and cover up the rest of it was a lot of work. Uh, but they did a wonderful job, looks good. So when we're looking in the interior of the car here, one of my favorite features is that shift knob. That is so cool. The shifter is called the Black Mamba and uh, our friend Dave is very well known for making those knobs. Those are all handmade, real wood. The handbrake is from a 550 Spider, also made by the same company, which is called Vintage Speed. Oh. Uh, they're very hard to get. Well, also you don't see these. There's not usually three no. of them on a Porsche uh, 3x6. Again, something we're known for doing on all of our cars. Uh, they're fewer uh, clocks and they're really hard to get nowadays. And then look at the stitching with the gussets in there. That is just mint. So that's actually a speaker system. Yeah. When I first looked at it, I didn't even notice, but now yeah. that you're pointing it out. Wow. We, we do that on just about every car. This one's a little bit more visible that there's speakers in there. Usually it just, it really is a luggage case. Um, and, but inside, like that's a woofer box and then the bottom box holds the amplifiers and the smaller speakers. Very nice. Now, why don't you take me to the back, to the engine? What do you, what do you have in this? Um, it's a 1915, probably about 120 horsepower, nothing crazy. But as you can see, we dress it up. All of our engine bays are always padded and there's leather, which isn't the safest thing to do, but we've never had a problem. Well, no one's gonna race this on the track, so it won't be pliable, so you'll be okay with that. So how long did this project car take you? Um, our friend Greg from Vintage Motor Cars builds them fast. He can build it in two weeks, but he gives it to us naked. So the interior was empty when you got no it? No interior, uh, none of the trim, and then we take it back and you kind of put it together together. We've done many cars together and I've always wanted this one. And to keep? This to is keep, but I think I sold it this morning, which, <laughs> which sucks. I get to drive it once maybe on Friday. Well, yeah, make sure you drive it around a little bit more before you give it away. But thank you for telling us about your 356. Now we've just done a, uh, another video with your brother Ed on the Ferrari 612. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one. But you guys have just started your YouTube channel, haven't you? Yeah. You want to tell trying. us a little bit about that? What is, what is going to be in it? Uh, just like our daily routine and some of the cars and what we go through to make it happen. And, all the headaches and stuff. And we try to put a little bit of everything in there just to, so people understand this doesn't just come together in a week. It's a lot, a lot behind it. Well, they've brought six cars to SEMA, so you can imagine why him and his crew are just so exhausted. But thank you very much for doing this with us and make sure you give us a follow as Throttle's Fueling Connections and Driving Experiences.